Cancer, hi, how are you doing? Let's see your aspects today, Cancer. Cancerians, what do our Cancer friends need to know today? Okay. First aspect is balance. So where in our life do we need balance today? Well, for Cancerians, it's a little bit like yesterday, the hardness of the outside and the softness of the inner. But there's also an aspect of staying where you are or going elsewhere. Now, what that means is, do you take that leap of faith into an aspect where it is totally new for you? So sometimes balance is overwork and learning to just relax. But I do feel like there is a, such a sensitive time going on for cancers. It's like some of you feel that you've missed the boat. So taking opportunities when they arise could be on the cards, but maybe not. Let's have a look further. So we have the five of summer here. This will be an aspect for you where the situation hasn't been um, too good. So the balance between focusing on the negative and focusing on what else could happen is, is in the balance. It's, oh, my situation is so bad. Why is it so bad? This is so unjust. But what we fail to see is the beauty around us of an abundance, abundance of love for us. If we only look, if we search not only inside ourselves, but we can move around quite quickly into situations when our emotions are calmer and maybe taking a neutral aspect to see what is in the future instead of looking too far in the past. So there you go, you've got the star. So the star is a great aspect where you can really nourish who you are, nourish your dreams, your hopes and your faith. Some people lose faith in society and faith in the universe when it's, it's really only behaving like it should if you really study astrology and the new age systems, certain things always need to happen. It just is an awakening of who we are as individuals. So if you're focusing too much on the pain, that is an imbalance. One has to look at the hope and the faith and how you're going to really feel and connect to not only yourself, but to other people. and take flight in a concise aspiring focused way to your dreams and goals now this is this is portrayed as almost like letting the cat out of the bag let all those emotions out reach far and wide water is a liquid it has a habit of just meandering to where it's needed to go, which is the sea. But on its journey, it nourishes so much. This could be yourself nourishing not only you, but other people. So the balance between giving and receiving is always going to be there. There's always going to be water on our planet. Allegedly. <laughs> so this is an analogy that where are your emotions going? You know, do they have to retreat inside and shrivel up and be like a desert all dry and not, not giving enough to yourself? These are the questions one could be asking of yourselves today. So balance, where is the balance? Let's think not what we haven't got and what we've lost, but what we're going to receive. After all, we need the emptiness to receive the fullness. So my cancer people, 
What else do we need to know with the Moonology cards? Alrighty. Mm -hmm. There you go. That's what you needed, isn't it, Cancerians? A new start is coming. Yeah, a new start is coming. So that this is good. So if if you actually find um, you are in particular pain and and you can't get out of it, find the balance, find the clarity to to kind of say, okay, that's happened. That's going to make me stronger now. And await the hope, the newness, the I'm going to wish for my dreams to come true because you can have it in abundance. Okay, Cancerians, thank you so much for listening and lots of love to you all. Take care.